Welcome to TechPoto Blog. This is episode number 17. This week I'm going to be talking about the clip sensor. So the basic premise of this sensor is there's this main sensor module and then these two alligator clips. And when these alligator clips are in open circuit, um, it's a different state on the camera axis compared to when it's a closed circuit. And you can have the camera axis then trigger to take a picture in either of those modes. So the real strength of this module is its flexibility. You can put all sorts of different objects between these alligator clips. And I'll give you a few examples to get the creative juices flowing. So this is the camera axis with the clip sensor plugged into sensor port number one. And I'm just going to hold activate down while turning it on to reset the uh, settings to default. And I'm just going to go with mostly default settings here. Uh, I'm having device number one, which can be either a camera or a flash, be triggered by sensor port number one, which is where the uh, clip sensor is plugged into. And the interesting bit is down here where we have the trigger valves. So the first one is the value that's um, going to be the threshold on where uh, the trigger happens. And then the second one is the current value being read. So when we have an open circuit like this, it's 999. When I touch these contacts together, it drops down to near zero. So what that means is if I'm going to be causing a short circuit like this, I want a trigger on low. Right now it's trigger type is high, so I'm going to change that to low. Oops. And now I'll hit activate. So when these two things short together, uh, the camera flash um, LED will go on, which indicates that the uh, camera flash would be triggered. There you go. One thing you need to remember when setting up the uh, clip sensor is that the substance causing the open and short circuits between these two alligator clips needs to be conductive. So one really cheap, versatile uh, substance that's conductive that I use is tinfoil like this. And I made a lot of different sensors using tinfoil, but one that I really kind of like is what I call just, it's just a presser, pressure switch. And uh, to do this, I just used a piece of uh, cardboard that I cut out in a rectangle shape, and then I cut a rectangle out of the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tin foil on each side of this and clip one of the alligator clips to each piece of the tin foil. So it's like this. And the one I actually made before, I had it glued together and it worked really well. But just for demonstration purposes here, I'm not going to take the time to glue it. And if you set up something like this, you can see that it's it's not being triggered right now and when something would say step on it you get a trigger step on it again you get another trigger another neat example is simply a button uh, the way a button works is when you press it down it creates a short between the two contacts so in order to hook up a button to the camera axe all you need to do is clip the alligator clips to the different leads on a button and when you press it you get an activation like that. Another cool idea would be to put a piece of wire between these two alligator clips and then when something walks through and trips the wire then the open circuit would trigger the uh, camera axe and in order to do that I have to go back into the menu and change the trigger type from low to high and you can see it's continu continuously triggering until I connect the uh, wire and there now it won't trigger anymore and since I didn't have any wire I just used a piece of tin foil again and then when somebody's walking through here and breaks the wire, it'll trigger the camera. 
Well, that shows the versatility of this clip sensor, and I hope it gets the creative juices flowing so that you can uh, use it for some really unique use cases out there. As always, this sensor is open source, as is the Camera Axe. I'll put a link to that in the show notes so that you can see the schematics there. Thanks for watching.